Hey, what's up? It's Nino Cappuccino. Today we're going to talk about something that no one's talking about. It's the Snow Wolf 200 Watt 1.5 updated chip, the GX200. It's a limited edition temperature control. Now, they have various versions. They got the Crimson Edition. They got the Royal Edition, which has a gold-plated frame. They got the Crimson Edition with the gold Less, forget it. You know, those are 125, whatever. All right, because we're trying to talk about, I'm trying to say, this is the best for the value. This is the best for your money, the biggest bang for your buck. Now, compared to the original, all right, the original, the biggest complaint was that. It would fall asleep after 45 seconds, and you would have to press the fire button five times, which now you would only press the fire button five times if you're going to shut it off or turn it on. Another new feature, it fires directly. See, I had it turned on already. Once you have it turned on, it'll fire immediately. There's no delay. None whatsoever. But when you turn it on, there's about like, you know, you wait a half a second until it fires. But after that, it's immediate fire. There's no delay. And that is unbelievable. Now, when you install a new atomizer, it will either recognize it immediately or you have to press the minus button along with the fire button. And it'll say new coil and you just select yes. And then it says cool coil and you say yes. Unless you're using a temperature control coil. This only reads nickel, unfortunately, because it is not the brand new, the brandest of newest. Although the chip works flawless, it is only a few months old. I mean, you know, fast forward, I mean, rewind a couple of months. There were no stainless steel cores, no coils, nothing like that. And, and, the titanium was just coming out. Only the brand new devices had it. This is basically a remake of a very solid machine. It's something they should have released in the beginning. Now, see on the bottom, there are some air holes, some air vents here. This here, you flip this. This is the battery hatch. It requires batteries um, with a continuous 20 amp um, for when you go into high wattage mode. It needs the 3.7 volts uh, minimum. The milliamps per hour uh, don't affect the performance. That just affects you know how long your battery life will last. Now. I had a debate with somebody who was a gearhead. They had all this information and technical things. They said my Emron, my my Emron batteries, they were fake. I said, listen, sir, mine are green wrapped, boxed, sent from the company with one of those little scannable VPC things. It was very authentic. And this poor gentleman said that there was no such thing as a 40 fucking amp battery. And I said, listen, there is. And it runs at 32 amps continuously for the pulse feature, which I don't think I'll ever use because that's when you go between 190 and 200 watts. But the Snow Wolf. The booklet here, okay, it recommends batteries like that. 
I have a pair of LG HE2s, no, HE4s rather. They are rated at 3.7 volts, 25 amps, and 20 continuous amps. Now, they are also 2,500 milliamps per hour, whereas these are either 3,500 or 4,500 milliamps per hour. I keep forgetting because it doesn't matter. I haven't changed these batteries in two days, and I've been vaping the frig out of it. Now, the booklet that comes with the new edition is very detailed. Okay, and it tells you about all the things. I've never seen any of these warnings myself, like uh, check atomizer or overheating. You can lock the system so that you don't accidentally increase the watts and then burn out your atomizer. Because you could easily accidentally press the plus button all the way up and then vape and you can blow out your atomizer. Now, the fingerprints, okay? The only other complaint, I mean, besides the quirks, it said it, the old version said it didn't read atomizer, you know, check atomizer, just stupid things. They needed to be fixed, so the GX200 chip fixed it, the 1.5 edition, they call this. So they're going to come out with a version 2. It's supposed to be completely redesigned, and I am very excited to see what it's like. I don't know how much they can improve upon this besides uh, titanium and uh, stainless steel temperature recognition. Now the tank I'm using is a Smoke TF V4. The full size 24 millimeter diameter. I have it on a raised uh, thread adapter, 510 to 510, and it's mostly for aesthetics because it's it makes it. It's just I don't know. I like the way it looks. It sits flush, and it also helps with the uh, the airflow. It cools it off a little bit quicker than usual, excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. Now, I'm currently using Mod Fuel Max VG. Now it's recommended that you use Max VG. I use a very small amount of nicotine, this is three milligram nicotine, okay. doesn't have a percentage. I believe it's either 70% or 80% DPT. It's recommended for the quad coils on this tank. I'm not talking about the tank. That is a separate review. Basically, if you're in the market, make sure you pick yourself up the limited edition 1.5 because the original version is just horrible. Those those small little quirks and um, the computer chip screws up a lot. This one is perfected. It's absolutely perfect. You can get this for under a hundred bucks probably 85 bucks if you look online. Make sure it's the 1.5 and make sure it's authentic and it's not from a sketchy site. 
now you can get the Sigeli 120 watts for the same price and what you're missing out on a whole bunch of watts and a very cool design now I know the Sigeli is very ergonomic okay still not portable this is a beast it just knows it is it doesn't play around you keep it right here on your desk I keep it like this see, just like this on my desk no and it is my my staff I feel royal it's like my goblet of vape you could use any tank, any tank, as long as you don't use stainless steel or titanium coin. I know some people are saying, well, why would I want that if I can get a Sigeli 120 with the uh, titanium? recognition and uh, this one doesn't recognize titanium even you know and uh, I say to that well a lot of people aren't into the temperature control to be honest it's a little dangerous uh, you use the wattage control you're all about just wattage most people are. It's simpler. No one cares for the nickel coils. The flavors on these new tanks are amazing. It doesn't matter. This is a, uh, it's coming down in price, but this is a limited edition. There were only 5,000 made a few months ago, and I spoke to uh, customer service. Uh, I got an email back that there are only about a hundred or so left and um, they're available at vape royalty it is v-a-p-e r-o-y-a-l-t-y dot com and they have a bunch of different versions they have some gold plated ones they have a crimson edition with a red tinted glass this is just the gunmetal basic version here it's a I think it's about 85 bucks and it's exactly the same it's just uh, you know doesn't have the cool gold or red things you know now battery hatch inside it's a little bit snug it takes a uh, high drain 18 650s We're, you know we already said it requires at least 20 amps uh, continuous it needs some hefty battery and the more milliamps per hour only a couple dollars extra for some high milliamps per hour batteries and that's it I just wanted to make sure that people knew that the, the new updated the 1.5 is the way to go a lot of people love the way the snow wolf looks uh, the way it's unique well you can enjoy it and um, definitely make this purchase you look online you can find different versions different colors they got a little uh, silicone cover with some grip and also that'll prevent the uh, fingerprint issue and there's you know there's a 
lot. You can see the display perfectly. Still has the air vent, the air holes. Uh, very good grip. I have to buy myself one of those, but right now it, it just it's solid. It is heavy. It's not one you're gonna carry around. If that's something you're looking for, this is not what it's for. This is for heavy duty shit. Like the tank I'm using now, we're gonna get into. Okay. That's next time. Right now, I have nothing else to say. I just really recommend. There are no one, there are no other reviews going around about this. This is the special edition 1.5. And don't forget it's limited. If you're in the market, just look. They'll be cheap. Okay. Might be $10 more than the Sigeli, but you're getting uh, 60 to 80 more watts. very good you should purchase it I recommend it over the Sigeli in fact Sigeli is made by the same it is a company under Osmotos Osmotos owns Sigeli or their affiliates something like that there are the yeah. it's uh, Osmotos is is Sigeli. So you're getting that kind of quality. And it's just unique. I mean you pull this baby out and you're like, what the heck? No matter what tank you put on. Alright. Well that's it. For the Snow Wolf 200 watts, 1.5 limited edition temperature control. You have to get it. If you're a collector, you absolutely got to get it. If you're looking to step up, you have enough dough, you want to get on, you, want, you got 70 to 85 bucks, you want to say, hey, get the best that there is. Uh, does not reach stainless steel, but other than that, it is flawless. The menu is so easy to navigate. There's no delay. You really got to see what kind of tank is on this thing. But, um doesn't matter what tank you use. In the meantime, I'm Nino Cappuccino, and thanks for watching. All right, let me just show you again, okay? This is the Snow Wolf, all right? 200 watts. Magnetic battery hat. My favorite.